And the road to the Final Four, it goes right through Central Texas. A good look at Waco, Texas tonight on a Friday night as Rice and Baylor looking to punch a ticket to the Sweet 16. It is NCAA Volleyball, the tournament on ESPN. All right, so how do we get here? Well, we take a look at the bracket. Baylor defeating Stephen F. Austin yesterday and Rice victorious over Colorado. So we've got a match on our hands tonight. Welcome inside the Farrell Center, Pete Souza with the Hall of Famer, Adam Johnson. Adam, this is going to be a closely contended match tonight. We could be here for a long night. Well, that's what I've heard. Uh, four or five games is what I'm hearing right now. Uh, that's great volleyball. We're excited about it. Yeah, and something to get excited about on the right side is Sahara Maruska. 22 kills yesterday, last night, to put him into the th second round. Yeah, Sahara Maruska uh, leading the Rice Owls last night against Colorado. Solid outside hitter. She's going to have to have another solid performance tonight against this Baylor defense. Yeah, speaking of solid, you look at Baylor on the other side, Elise McGee, the 6'4 sophomore. They call her the unit for a reason. The unit for a reason. Yeah. Leading, leading Baylor last night. Uh, we have two leaders on the outside tonight. Leading them against FSA. Another solid night for the unit. Another solid night for Baylor. Yeah, and another solid night to watch the NCAA tournament on ESPN Plus. Baylor and Rice. This is it. Stakes are high. The opportunity to get to the Sweet 16. You win or you go home. Rice advancing to the second round for the first time since 2007. Gabby Mansfield set to get us underway. Well, that didn't take very long. Kara McGee with the kill. Yeah, right off the bat, going to the middle. That's a that's great for the Baylor Bears. Establish the middle. That that opens up the outsides. Lauren Brasinio. Unforced error. Tied at one. Can't miss those serves too early in the match. And there is Nia McCardle. Just a phenomenal night last night. 22 digs. Ooh, what a great dig. Persenio. And it looks like Chet was too close for comfort. So McCardle, we mentioned 22 digs last night, the 5'7 junior. And there's a look at Jenny Volpe in her 19th year at Stephen, oh, excuse me, at Rice, rather. 376, 199. Talking to her a few days ago, Adam, she just seemed confident. She seems like she feels very good about this team. Well, when you have when you're when you have a uh, a season like she's had so far, you can kind of feel that confidence. And when you have a player like Anuda Adekunle, you got to feel good too. And that doesn't hurt to have a, a a person like her in the middle, just hitting over blocks left and right. Three point advantage or three to two advantage for Rice. Carlson sets. No problem there. Talbert finishes. Talbert with three kills early in the game, and, and it looks like to me Baylor is really establishing the middle. That really is going to free up the outsides, a one-on-one -on -one or maybe a one-on-none block. Cardinal sets. Maruska returns. McGee too long. That was Elise McGee. And there is coach Ryan McGuire, eighth season at Baylor. 178 and 62. Seven straight NCAA tournament appearances. Trying to ride another one into the Sweet 16. Seven's a lucky number. <laughs> All right, so Adam, I got to ask you early on. We've seen a couple, I think three, unforced errors, service errors. What do you make of that? Jitters? I say, you know, jitters. It's always that uh, pregame, and uh, now the scoring that it's point for point, it doesn't count as much as it used to, like when it was inside out when I was playing. Wow. I mean, you look.
look at that no look work by Carly Graham. Yeah, that's a great, you know, awareness for Carly Graham in the, in the setting position right there. Caught Baylor off guard. They, didn't, they weren't even aware she was front row. Dig by Maruska. Courtney too long. Good opportunity right there for uh, Rice to sneak one away, but uh, Portly just hitting just long on the end line. And there is all everything freshman. Avery Carlson, all Big 12 freshman of the year. Graham sets too strong. Baylor now up 65. And back to back errors, hitting errors for Rice. Got it, got it, Mike. Graham sets. Courtly yeah. finishes. I don't know how she got it past that uh, Baylor block right there, but boy, she slid that one right in between the block. dig there to keep the rally alive. Maruska tries to find the space. Graham with the dig. Cardo sets. Bicklemeyer tries to finish, but is turned away at the net. Yeah, you see McGee and Harrison get up here, just getting up and over the block and down, and those are the best kind when they, the ball hits the ground before the hitter does. DaCosta with the serve, Ruska with the dig. Portly, off a Baylor player. We are tied at seven, back and forth we go. That all started, that whole play started right there with Maraska with a, a diving pass. I'd, I'd give that a dime, that was a three pass for sure. So Danielle Courtley, from Katy, Texas. Service. Heads up play by Bicklemeyer. Smart play by Bicklemeyer on the right side there, just using the block of Harrison. Point Rice. Bicklemeyer, again. See our first challenge right here, maybe? No. That was a close call down the down the line. Bicklemeyer, yeah, Bicklemeyer with a nice turn down the line and just catching that line. He's got a whistle. So, Point rice. Yeah, rare unforced air there by uh, Carlson. She might be a freshman, but there's some nerves in there for sure. Harrison, that ball just explodes off of her right arm. Harrison really elevating on the outside there. You can just see that in her facial expression. Hitting that thing down right in between the block of Rice for a point. Now, you, you know, you're an 80s and 90s guy. I know you're probably a Lakers fan. Always. But her dad, uh, Buck Williams, was a standout for the Portland, or her uncle, I should say. Buck Williams was a standout for the Portland Trailblazers. Okay. Gave some of your Lakers team fits. <laughs> a lot Maruska. of people have. <laughs> <laughs> Maruska giving Baylor fits. Yeah, Maruska starting to heat up a little bit on the outside for uh, Rice. Free ball coming over for Rice. Should be a point. Yet. Carlson with the dig. A deck and lay. Basenio with the dig this time for Baylor. Because with their backs against the wall, they continue to play, but too much to withstand there. 
Bickelmeyer again. What have you seen from her so far? Uh, Bickelmeyer, she's been pretty solid on the right side. I think she's got three or four kills already. The first row, uh, trip through the front row. Baylor able to stop the bleeding. She is on fire once again tonight. Well, and Rice with not a great pass, so you know it's going outside, and Mariska getting ready on the outside here for this one. Just goes high, hard, over the block, and just out of the, the reach of Baylor in back row. And we saw the setter Carly Graham setting the table. 49 assists last night in their victory over Colorado. Harrison, another kill. 13 to nine, rather 13 to 10, off the point. Graham sets again, Maruska tries to deliver again, but Persenio digs it out. <laughs> and she's pretty confident about that one right there. 5'8", junior from Houston, Texas. Sahara Maruska. And there is Carly Graham. <laughs> Calbert answers for Baylor. The Texas A&M transfer. Yeah, Talbert with her at least fourth kill that I'm counting right now. Right out of the middle. Solid. Keep that middle. Always go to the well. You go to the well until it's dry. Talking to you earlier, you like seeing the middle. I love the middle. It, it opens the game up a ton. And uh, if, if we can get some better passing in, 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 the, sport. in, the, sp well, in the sport and in system and all that, makes it a lot better. Nice volley as McGee faces some resistance at the net. Courtney, a laser beam, and another point for Rice. Well, we've got our first time out on the floor, and Rice, in convincing fashion, leading Baylor so far, 15 to 11. More tournament play coming up after the break. So Rice, thanks to strong play from people like Daniel Courtney, leading 14, excuse me, 15 to 11. Last matchup between these two teams was October 12th. Baylor won that convincingly, three to nothing. Looks like we've got a different situation on our hands tonight, at least early we do. A deck and lay serves. Tough serve right there. Carlson sets, and McGee finishes, Elise McGee. Part of the sister act. Did you see both of them right there? The sister, sister act. <laughs> the younger one getting the kill on the outside. First kill for Elise tonight. <laughs> Another close call. That was a close one. We're seeing heady play so far by this Rice team. They seem to be uh, all over the court, making sure balls are out, making sure they're in. Graham floats it over the net. Carlson will set again. And McGee, once again, Elise McGee powers another point home. Elise McGee, this time on the right side, just powering that one, like you said, down the line and in between the block of Rice for a point. Graham sets. Heady played by Courtney. Dropping it over the net, but Baylor is there to dig it out. Bickelmeyer blasts that one home. Fifth kill of the evening for her. 
Well, you think that one one of the players is going to have a big night, and it turns out another one's having a bigger night and so far, and that's not a bad thing. Yeah, between the two of them, Maruska and Bickelmeyer, eight kills. Uh, Baylor, unfortunately, in the net to Karen McGee right there. Looks like she kind of stumbled a little bit as she was coming down on that one. 288 kills in the regular season for Daniel Courtney. He puts it in play. Crescenio diving to make the dig. Couldn't get it in time. And that's what you want to see right after a timeout is an ace serve, that's for sure. Baylor hoping that that was going to be a miss serve. Crescenio acrobatic dig. Whew, the Rice answers again. This time it's Costalecki. And we haven't heard Costalecki's name too much tonight. And here she's up getting quick in the middle. Up and over on that block. Down for a point. Costalecki second on the team. To Costa. Harrison oh, almost a great, no doubt. A great dig. A great dig in the back row. Alley check, and the dig is made by Courtley. Maraska again, fourth kill. Maraska taking a lot off that one, and she was about 10 feet off the net. Just a nice little roll shot right over the block of Baylor. 22 kills last night. I mentioned four tonight. Check, try to drop it over the net. And Baylor catches the break they needed. Yeah, Czech having a, is kind of struggling in this first set. Only one kill. She's not, her hitting percentage is uh, a minus a 3-3-3, which if it were a plus 3-3, we'd be talking a different story. Brasenio, who just earned a scholarship over the weekend, puts it in play. Carlson sets for check. Rice gets the point. Check floating through the air. Tried to pinpoint place, it couldn't. And she tried to get that right off uh, Mariska on the outside, and Mariska just pulled her hands away right at the last second. Carlson for Harrison. Mariska is denied at the net by Ali Check and Calvert. That's got to get Check going a little bit here on the outside. She gets up and penetrates over and straight down against Mariska. If she's not hitting, she can do some, some serious damage up there blocking. Graham, who's got nine assists, looking for her 10th. Persenio digs it out. Bicklemeyer cocks the hammer. Love the name Bicklemeyer. I've never heard that before, but boy, it's fun to say each and every time she puts the ball away. <laughs> yeah, there's some authority with Picklemeyer. And if you're Baylor, you don't want to get Picklemeyer anymore. No. You're, you're all set. Darby Harris sets sail. A Deccan lay. Denies Harrison. Graham for a Deccan lay. That couldn't have looked any better. A deck and leg getting up nice and high. Right over the block in the middle and down on Baylor's side for a point. So Rice is on the brink. That's exactly what the Bears needed from Riley Simpson. Riley Simpson coming off the bench, doing some damage. Just a freshman. Those freshmen, you never know where they're coming from. Baylor has three freshmen in the top 25, or of the top 25 recruiting class.
And Rice takes the first set. The set was from Graham, and the finish was from Adekunle. We'll be back with the second set in the second round of the NCAA tournament from Waco, Texas. Farrell Center in the second round of the NCAA tournament. Rice started the season winning 15 of their first 16. And then they ended up winning the Conference USA Championship. Got the automatic bid. And this is a program, Adam, that they've made it to five straight NCAA tournaments. Three schools in Texas have done that. Texas and Baylor. And then you throw Rice in the mix, and there's the steward, Coach Jenny Volpe in her 19th year. And she doesn't look satisfied yet. <laughs> I saw her in the media room. I was she was watching film, just just crushing work. I mean, moments before the game. Hey, every little bit counts. You never know what you're going to find in the last second. Especially around tournament time, and especially with the team you played before in October. A lot can happen. A few practices here and there. People starting to get to know each other a little bit better. You sound like somebody with some experience in that race. <laughs> Absolutely. Baylor's definitely going to need to turn their game around after that first one. Because I would say they got Bicklemeyered. <laughs> I sure did. Six kills for Bicklemeyer. And the freshman sensation, Carlson, puts it into play. And that's just a perfect way to start it out right off the bat. you got to get the energy early in this set. Carlson, the number one recruit in her class as a senior in high school out of Lucas, Texas. And here she is. Kara McGee over the net. Just a little excited right there. Thought, thought she had it. Oh, oh back row attack. Okay. Back row tap it is. Yeah. So was that call overturned? That call was overturned, okay. yes. Graham, who is the back row setter for Rice, went up to block on that ball. Ball was over the net. And uh, points going to be awarded to Baylor. Carlson rolls on. Ricardo digs it out. Too oh. strong for Cordley. Check that Bicklemeyer. Yeah, I was just about to say, did we just see an air? <laughs> yeah, we did. Wow. <laughs> First one for Bicklemeyer right there. Five hundred kill percentage for Bicklemeyer tonight. Brasenio too hot to handle. Diving all over the place is Baylor trying to get it. Costalecki put some mustard on it, and now they are on the board in the second set. Three to one, Baylor. Nia McCarda. I mean, was that pretty or what? Floating through the air was Kara McGee dropping it over the net. Didn't get quite the set she wanted. Had to do something and make something work. And a nice little tip over the block. Down for a point. Graham sets. A deck and lay. Turned away by McGee at the net. The Costa with the dig. And Persigno follows her act with one of her own. Harrison tried to stop the net play. Couldn't do it. Bicklemeyer again. Bicklemeyer's got a nice, wicked little whip on the right side. Quick arm swing for a strong girl. And she just uh, using, using and abusing the block, as we used to say. Allie Check trying to get in on the act for Baylor. Persigno falls to the ground with the dig. And Rice gets the point. 
Yeah, it looks like uh, Karen McGee might have caught the uh, net a little bit on that one, trying to force the ball over the net. Check with the cannon. Check feeling good, getting her second kill of the evening. That one was kind of an interesting one. Blocked on the right side. Baylor guys going up, Baylor girls, excuse me, going up to hit the ball and just kind of fell right in front of uh, the Rice defenders. Graham sets. Maruska, who's been quiet of late, trying to make some noise. A Deccan lay. Scores the point for Rice, now trailing by one. Yeah, Dekele get hitting that one on the on the uh, right side, not out of the middle, but boy, she's sure getting up and putting the ball down. Well, we talked earlier about Bicklemeyer and Maruska sharing eight kills. Now they share 11, but a Dekele has come alive with five of her own. Denial at the net. <laughs> Courtley was, I mean, I, we have a perfect view of that one, and she got, she penetrated over the net so far over. Ruska with the dig. Baylor takes the lead six to five. That last, uh, that last block we saw by Courtley, that's, that's kind of one of those blocks that can kind of change the trajectory of where the game's going. I mean, you get a block like that, everybody's going, well, how do we get it past that block now? Too many unforced errors so far tonight for Baylor. Blocked at six. Harrison with the moxie. DeCosta started that. DeCosta started that one off with a great, great play, and Harrison on the outside just kind of almost came in a little bit early. Was able to throw that ball down the line for a point, though. Good hang time there. Sky is over the rest of her teammates and the Rice Owls. Oh, oh, oh. oh they got our camera. Well, that's all right. Now no, we're nobody needs to see us anyway. So you go. <laughs> Just steal the ball. We had it for a second. We did. Simpson, too strong. Another. <laughs> is that back to back service errors right there? Sure is. Fifteen assists so far for Carly Graham, the fifth year, who has been all everything. Coach Volpe calls her one of the best setters in the country, and she's shown us why over the past two nights. Courtley tried to resist at the net, no match. That's that's, and that's another. Yeah, that's another one of those those blocks where she just gets so far over the net. Look at how far she reaches over, and again that ball is hitting the ground before the Baylor player. An exceptional play. Those kind of blocks can change the game. And to your point, a little bit of a run now for the Owls. McGee just missing on the outside. Couldn't have been more than six inches. You won't see too many freshmen with a nose for the ball like Carlson. Talbert just puts it on Graham. Talbert's pretty solid coming on the right side here. It's a little bit of a slide play, but hitting that nice sharp angle, just catching Graham off guard. Picklemeyer tried to find the soft spot. Baylor bounces back. Hostelecki again. 
The we, Quiet Assassin. I was about to say, when you least expect it, there she is. The Quiet Assassin. She's had a couple of good, uh, solid kills tonight. 6'4", senior from Decatur, Texas. Wow, and that was Kosalecki again at the net. Right, right now, uh, excuse me, Rice is dominating the net, uh, just getting over on, on that double block right there. And as a player or a coach, that's got to be a mental thing too. Well, I love defense, and blocking is defensive, and if you can't get the ball down on our side of the court, we're going to win. Simple as that. And that's an emphatic way to do it, as we just saw an emphatic point by Harrison. Transfer from Georgia Tech. Wants to stay in sports, said she wants to work in an NBA front office, but still might have some stuff to do left volleyball-wise. Another point for Rice as they lead by two now in this second set. Kara McGee getting a little anxious on that one. She's got to let that setter set that ball. The senior from San Antonio has been aggressive tonight. Right there, the aggression pays off. She might have been a little upset at herself on that last play and uh, told her setter, uh, Carlson, hey, set me this bomb. I'm a little upset right now. I'll put this one down. <laughs> Graham sets for a deck and lay. Oh my goodness. That is an alley-oop. That is an angle right there. Out of the middle, hitting that kind of an angle. You see a deck and lay here just exploding from the center of the floor. And look at this angle right there, right in front of the uh, Baylor defender right there. Graham from Maruska, who's been quiet of late. <laughs> Baylor gets the point. Exciting play close to the net. We've seen it building over the past two sets. Yeah, and it came right at us there. And, and the Decolle just hitting the antenna, as we used to call it, Mr. Antenna. Mr. You antenna. You, you don't want to mess with him. <laughs> Nice dig, Brasino. Mallory <laughs> Talbert and Ali Check making their presence known around the net. Ali Check's been pretty quiet hitting wise, but her blocking has been pretty good right there, pretty solid right there for uh, Baylor. Gee helping out right there. The run continues. Harrison on the outside here. Couldn't come at a better time. Right in between the block of Rice and down for a point. You can kind of feel the energy kind of growing on the Baylor side right now. Let's see if they can keep it going. Thanks to a 3-0 flurry. Carlson slides to the save. Answered by Mansfield. Mansfield stays acrobatic. Graham sets for Deckenley, who dunks on Baylor. Wow. I kind of like sitting where we're sitting and <laughs> seeing some of these hits right there. My, oh my goodness, a Deckenley. That, if that didn't hit the 10-foot line, it was darn close. What an angle on that shot. Seven kills for a Deckenley on the night. She has been explosive over the course of the past five minutes. Nice reaction dig almost. Darby Harris in the back there. 15 to 14. Baylor with the advantage. You having fun yet, Adam? Uh, we're having a lot of fun. Love these seats. NCAA tournament action. We're back with more from the Farrell Center. And as Baylor Bears are their seventh straight trip to the NCAA tournament, they finished second in the Big 12. Ranked as high as nine throughout the course of the year.
and ranked wins against Wisconsin and Rice, who they're facing again tonight. Baylor is tested, but man, they are facing a tough test right now. And it's always hard to beat a, a team twice in a, in a season, so Baylor's, Baylor's got to get up to the task here. Deckham there, trying to ride the wave in success. Good big Kenshi. Not much DaCosta could do with that. Another point for the Owls. We are tied at 15. Decolle almost a nice dig in the back row for Baylor, but just can't run that one down. Too strong by Courtley. Back and forth we go. These teams trade blows. Baylor up by one. A little bit of momentum and emotion coming off the Baylor side now. Graham sets. Once again, it is Kostelecki. Third kill. Kostelecki, just, she's, she's just solid. If she's not hitting, I mean, she's got to be hitting 100% uh, maybe, 750, you know? That's, you know, when you get your three or four attempts and you get them, you put them down, that's going to that's gonna add to the stats. Senior. Miscommunication. That right there is a rally killer. When, a, when, a, when your, one of your teammates makes a great dig and it just lands right in the middle of everybody and nobody's going for it. Tough to stomach in a game of this proportion. That's something that shouldn't happen at this level for sure. Carlson for McGee. Oh, drills that one down. I've been waiting to see that one for a while. McGee on the outside. She's just getting up high. Cutting off this angle. Pretty, pretty sharp right there. Almost a 10-foot line from the outside. That's a pretty impressive. Sophia Keen set it up very, very high, and Rice with the easy point. Don't know that she tried to do that, but. <laughs> 18 to 17, Owls lead up one set to nothing. <laughs> 19 to 17 as McGee makes the air. Rice travels well. Baylor's feeling it right now. Down two, 19 to 17. You mentioned she was quiet. Yep. Loud right there. I think maybe she heard me. <laughs> She's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Boom. High off the block on the outside she goes. Carlson winning four Rookie of the Weeks over the course of the season. Big 12 Rookie of the Year. <laughs> McGee again. This is exactly what Baylor needed, you would imagine. We talked about making statements, and they have over the past two plays. Right there, he had the sister act on the outside. Care in the middle and Elise on the outside, putting that ball down. Nice dig. Brasenio does the job. Swatted over the net by Kara McGee, but just out of bounds. Big point right there. Anytime you start the first one to 20 in these type of games, it's uh, it, it kind of helps the mind for... 
definitely a, a turning point, and Ricardo puts it in play. McGee, quick with the left hand, keeps Baylor alive. A Deckenlay takes advantage of some sloppy Baylor play. And Deckenlay in that, in that particular hit, she's hit everything angle away from her body. That one, she put that one down the line. Been extremely precise this evening. And the Rice fans appreciate it. A Deckenlay set to play for USA Basketball this offseason. Eight kills this evening. 471 kill percentage. And don't forget, join Sam Gore, Paul Sunderland, and Jennifer Hoffman for the fifth set following the game. They'll have whip around coverage from all 16 sites. Stay up to date with all the first and second round matches. I mean, it is going on and it is a party and you can stream it all now on ESPN Plus. You are invited to the dance. Oh, Paul Sunderland, huh? There you go. Yeah. Gold medalist. I, we talked earlier about the, the era uh, you played in and, and the stars, you know, Timmons, Karai, I just Smith, unbelievable players. All, all ex-partners, by the way. All ex-partners of yours, yes. yes. Yeah, those are some fun times. And, you know, we if you think about the social media now, mm -hmm. oh, there was no social media when I, we were playing, yeah. but those names are still around. They're still floating you know, around. And, and uh, it's kind of interesting to see the difference between uh, the stars of today and, and whatnot. Yeah, it was a big part of pop culture. It really was. And, and I think you were probably have to understand that some of these girls playing here tonight uh, were a part of that, you know, are, are coming off that. They probably don't even know who they are. Mm. <laughs> but it propelled the sport at them. Oh, yes, it did. And McGee trying to propel Baylor back into this one. 21 to 20, a that, huge point. Yeah, I was going to say, that's a huge point coming off of the timeout right there. Rice gets that right. If Rice gets that point, you never know what's going to happen. Well, we have seen the elder statesman McGee, Karen McGee, play close to the net, and that time it worked yeah, out for him. That was a close one right there. I don't know if you can overturn those or you know look at them or whatever, but boy, that was a that was a tight call. But hey. That's what the referee's job is up there. Alley check. Lowers the boom with the left hand. <laughs> and thanks, Brasenio, <laughs> for the set. I was going to say, you almost picked that out, but here she is on the, on the right side. She hasn't had too many kills tonight, but that was a very important one right there. As you see, the freshman of the year in the Big 12. And it's tough. You, you know what it's like to be a, a, a much ballyhooed prospect. She came in here with a lot of hype, and she delivered this year, Avery Carlson did. That's, uh, you know, when you, can, when you come in with a lot of hype and you can deliver, that, that says something about the athlete right there. 22 to 21 at the Farrell Center. To cost a service. as Baylor gets the point once again up above everyone else and coming down on everyone else Baylor up two and this is the perfect time to catch a catch a little fire if you will looks like Rice is going to try and slow the game down with the substitution right here and is that all strategy more so than, than personnel or? I, I, I think I think so you know you don't want to waste a timeout right now Four zero run for Baylor. Five zero run for Baylor. And McGee in the middle, finishing that playoff with the block right here, just getting over the net and down. Three blockers up, actually. You don't see that. It's pretty rare.
I mean, the 5-0 scoring run out of the timeout really could be a, a season save if, if, if Baylor were to go on to win this. That, that you can look back at this, uh, what was it, 19 to 20, Baylor was down. And uh, turn that around pretty quickly right here. Let's see if they can't finish this uh, second set. Twenty-four to twenty-one, Baylor with the advantage. Coach Ryan McGuire and his team talking it over. We are live from the Farrell Center. Pete Souza alongside the Hall of Famer Adam Johnson and our Baylor Vision crew. It's so important for a team to be able to host. Uh, in your experience, what is the most beneficial part of that? It's sleeping in your own bed. Is it a routine? Well. My experience, of course, we were all in California, so you know you, you were sleeping in your bed no matter what. <laughs> you weren't going too far, so uh, I can imagine that that would be the case for these guys. They get to sleep in their own, you know, they're 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 in their own comfort zone. Yeah. Can you see the good crowd tonight? Pretty loud, also. Yes. A ticket to the Sweet 16 on the line. Baylor on the brink of a second set win. Rice answers. Not yet. Fresh off the bench, we saw Lola Ford. And that's kind of a rare situation where you haven't seen someone like Lola Ford, you know, playing and all of a sudden they're going to her, so they see a lot of good things in her. Brasenio with the dig, Carlson with the set, and Harrison with the finish. Barrett takes the second set, 25 to 22. We are locked at one apiece. Harrison on the outside here. She knows she wants to finish this thing and puts it away for Baylor. Linesman right on that call. Gabby Mansfield will give it a ride. 5-4 sophomore, Carlson. Sets the table and slamming the door is McGee, Kara McGee. And that's a great thing that you see Carlson do right afterwards, you know. McGee having an air on the previous one. She's going right back to her, getting her back in the game. You mentioned Carlson, another one of those prolific freshmen. Is DaCosta. Persenio. Sets for Harrison, and the North Carolina transfer is denied at the net. Costalecki again getting her hands over the net. Great set on the outside by Carlson right here. Harrison coming in, just blistering that ball through the block. Ninth kill of the evening. Deckenlay with the pump fake. I mean, so far, every time she's had a kill, it's been quite, it comes with quite the velocity. That time, she kind of had everybody fooled. And full. this one is a kind of a, what we call a cutback. Uh, towards the side and, and Baylor, you know, Carlson right there, almost having that, not quite. Graham for McCardle. Rice trying to restore order. Senio with the dig. Alley check. And McCardle to Maruska. Here comes Talbert. No, it's Harrison. Save made by Ford. And the Bears victorious there, 3-3. Three to three. Some Harrison good, leading the charge. With some good defense from both sides. Harrison coming down here, one hand is stab, but the other Harrison getting up over and putting that ball down. Stoppage on the floor.
Substitution for Baylor. We have a little uh, something coming. Oh, it's not injury. Sophia Keen checks into the game. And will serve. There's Alec Check. Great That's serve. And maybe that's the reason for that substitution. Well, and you always love to see your servers. That's that's their role. That's what they're that's what they're supposed to do. Come in and, and do something. And, and Keen did a great serve right there. Nice nice ace. Wow, Ruska. I don't know about you, but you can just hear this coming off of her hand right here. Baylor had no chance for that one. 22 kills last night, five tonight for Maruska. Set to serve. Talbert, the transfer from Texas A&M. Standing tall, Baylor up five to four. Talbert really loves that slide, as we call it. Hitting that sharp angle across her body, down for the point. Another great serve. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> great finish. It's so fun to watch middle blockers like that. They can really put this ball down. And Nada Kunli just getting up nice and quick and just beating it past the Baylor block right there. A deck and lay. We have seen fireworks from her so far tonight. As she serves out of bounds. <laughs> we see a mistake. <laughs> She's human. <laughs> And there is Mallory Talbert, led the team with a 402 hit percentage. Rice continues to answer. Portly on the outside. Off the Baylor block, down for a point. Missile off the hands of McCardle. Elise McGee on the outside, and, and we heard the coach say that uh, McGee was going to step up her game, and she sure did right there. I, th I thought we were on a boat for a second there with, <laughs> with Coach McGuire. <laughs> Trying to float through the air and make a crafty play was Lola Ford. Baylor now up two. Spanking that one to the floor. Impressive work by Kostelecki again. Yeah, if Kostelecki's not blocking, she's putting these ball down. She's almost putting them to sleep because they don't think that they're going to come to her. And when she does, she puts them down. 8-7, Baylor leads. Too strong for Elise McGee. Looked like she kind of had that opening on the angle, but just a little bit out of bounds there. Bresenio digs. Oh, what a Harrison dig in the back row. Smoked that one, and you mentioned it. Great dig. Maruska. Turning Baylor away and giving her team the one-point advantage. A smart play right here by Mariska. Great dig in the back row here. Ball going to be coming over the net pretty soon here. Down for a point. Rice on a little run here. Portly set to serve with her team up 10 to 8.
importantly, five kills on the night. As we press the pause button here momentarily at the Farrell Center. Coach McGuire, Coach, yeah, you know, yeah. Coach McGuire, he's, he's asking what happened on that last play. And it, it, it looked clean from my angle right here. The ball hit the top of the tap, tape. It was coming over. Point definitely goes to Rice. No challenge, no chance, I guess. Wow, Ford is turned away at the net. Another sensational play by Kara McGee, the only player returning from last year's tournament run, the only starter returning, I should say. And watch them, Baylor block just getting over, and that looked like that was a uh, check right there. Putting that ball down for a point. Baylor has improved its net play since the first set. Maruska. What a great dig, Senio. Big time play at the net by McGee. There's another one of those plays, back to back. Kara McGee right here. High ball, they know where it's going outside. She just reaches right into that angle. Stuffs that thing straight down for a point. The 6'5 senior from San Antonio does not want her career to end tonight. Was that by design? I was wondering, if, are we on the beach? <laughs> that was a really nice cut shot right there. It's a smart little play right there. She was, I gotta say, eight feet off off the court hitting that cut shot big by McCardle Pasenio answers with one of her own Graham sets for Deckelman Here's Check. Oh, what a great dig. Mansfield. Best volley of the night. DaCosta keeps it alive. Carlson sets. Uh -huh. Too strong. Uh -huh. Man, what a rally. There's a lot of great defense going on there. Those are the kind of rallies you hate to lose, that's for sure. You see Graham there, and you see McCardle on your screen, but uh, the smile from Coach Jenny Volpe radiated all the way over here. That's the kind of play you love to see your team come away with a point. And you guys don't know how great that play was right there by Carlson. She was just going up like she was going to set the ball, put her hands down because she's a back row setter. Ball just slips right underneath the block of rice for a point. Heady play for a freshman. Ooh, the hammer laid down. Ford. Ford on the left side. It's kind of nice to have a lefty on that right side for sure. Nice one on one block right there. Dig by McCardle. Deckenley gets that one on the way down. And Baylor gets a point. Harrison has come alive for 10th kill. Yeah, she's come alive at the right time on this long rally right here. The last oof, putting that ball just in between the block of Rice for a point. Too strong for Maruska. Didn't look like she got a great approach on that one. Could have taken just a little bit more off. Oh, Persigno, too hot to handle. Once again, 
a Dekenle. Dekenle now hitting a middle blocker, now hitting on the right side. Nice turn right through the block and down for a point. Once again, that pinpoint placement. Substitutions for Baylor. And we are tied at 14 once again. Oh, how about that nifty drop by a Dekenle? Well, there's your friend, Mr. Antenna. Or should friend I say, he's your antenna. enemy. Yeah, exactly on that one. That is an eye opener. You never know what's going to happen in these crazy brackets. Simpson wishes she could have that one back as she takes a seat on the bench. Izzy Rollins, first time we've heard her name called tonight. Drilling that one down is Talbert. That really seems to be her uh, bread and butter tonight on the right side, a little slide action. I don't think she's gotten blocked yet, and she's been putting everything down. Maybe has missed one. She'll put it in play with the team up one. Nice pass. <laughs> Carlson. He's got a uniform, doesn't he? <laughs> to the chagrin of her coach. Gets him involved in the play. Oh, what a set. Look at that thing. <laughs> Harrison. Jet Street. 17 to 16, Baylor. Out of the back row. Nice little set play by Harrison right here. Just coming in hot. We call this the pipe right down the middle. 12th kill for the senior from Stone Mountain, Georgia. Transfer from North Carolina, Graham Sets. Bersenio for Elise McGee, who was denied at the net. Carlson for McGee, saved by McCardle. And Courtney, oh, what a great block save. Was Graham who just kept it off the wood? That was some great play right there. And the crowd here rising, making more noise. Baylor up by two. She is the all everything freshman from Lovejoy High School in Lucas, Texas. Puts it in play. That's exactly what Baylor wanted right there after a timeout to get the first point. Early in the game, you talked about the net play for Baylor being maybe suspect in that first set where they were dominated by Rice. What have you seen them do to turn it around? Well, they've been starting to block. It seems like they're getting into bed, their hands into better position against the right attack. The Rice attack, excuse me. Boy, maybe, not, maybe not there. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that when that happens. <laughs> yeah, we don't like the scripts, right? Oof. Nothing Courtley could do with that one. The heater coming off the hand of Kara McGee, her eighth kill. Kara McGee talking to her uh, freshman setter, letting her know she wants that. Carlson digs off Costalecki. Cardle sets. And Picklemeyer 
Brings it. We haven't heard Bicklemeyer in a long time. Tenth kill of the night. Bicklemeyer coming back in. Just wants to see. She wants to see, show Coach that she's got the magic still from that first set. She put a target on Avery Carlson and delivered. Harrison calling for the point. Rice will get it. Yeah, she's not going to get that one. That went right into the net. Got a little bit early on that uh, approach right there. Baylor up one, 20 to 19. We are tied at one set apiece. Of course, best of five. And we've got a timeout. And we have seen Baylor play improved volleyball out of timeouts tonight, saying a lot about the coaching of Ryan McGuire. And that's something that uh, teams always work on, you know, in drills and practice. You know, this is right after a timeout. If you guys don't get this point, you're running, <laughs> you know, kind of thing. So that makes you think a lot. And uh, that looks like Baylor's kind of turned that around. Almost looks like McGuire was singing right there, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Lauren Brasenio, I don't know, are, are, are you a social media guy? I dabble in it, but not like everybody else. Well, next time you get a chance to dabble, go to Baylor's Instagram, volleyball Instagram, and you'll see just a wonderful video of Lauren Brasenio being awarded a scholarship. They had a, they had a party, it seemed like a Christmas party after the selection show. She unwraps this, this gift, and it is a letter from Coach McGuire and the Baylor administration. You are now on full scholarship. Uh, I, I heard about that prior to this, and that would be amazing to be in that situation. Yeah, an emotional night and an emotional career, and that's why these games are just, it's, it's, the energy is palpable. You can feel it in the arena. Win or go home. And McCargo will serve with her team down one. McCargo with the dig. But out of bounds, and Baylor gets the point again. Harrison rising to the occasion. <laughs> Literally. Decolet, crafty play around the net, mirroring the Baylor defense. Now Graham sets for a Decolet with the laser beam, putting her team within one. That's a great set for Graham right here. It's kind of an interesting set, just a middle two set is what we call it. It's kind of like a, you know something you do when you're 12 and 13 years old. Here they're doing it and uh, they're, <laughs> they're having success at it. Here comes Harrison, cranks it. Anything you can do, I can All right, do better. Exactly. Harrison didn't like that last one, and she put this one down hard. Baylor up by two. Mariska, no nonsense. That was a great set by Graham right there. Leading the middle blocker like it was going to the middle. Shoot it outside. Mariska put that down for a point. 36 assists for Graham. I'm very impressed with her setting. Great hands and vision so far from Graham in this first couple of rounds. And Mallory Talbert. The Texas A&M transfer. First team all Big 12. Once again, Talbert coming on this little slide angle once again. You wonder how many times until, until she gets that down that you know Rice is going to make an adjustment because she's made so many kills hitting that angle.
Nebraska can't handle the blowtorch, and Baylor is up three, closing in on the third set. Anita Adekala. Carlson sets. Oh. McGee with the touch. Here comes Courtley. Too much to handle for the Bears. We are nip and tuck, 24-23. Third set on the line from the Farrell Center. Yeah, we have been having fun tonight. A deck and let. Will work to put us in a two-point situation here with their team down one, set point for Baylor. The fifth year puts it in play. Brasenio sets for McGee, who closes the door. And Baylor takes the third set, 25-23. Great, great play by Baylor right there. And here's Avery Carlson with her team leading two sets to one. Pete Souza alongside the Hall of Famer, Adam Johnson rolling from the Farrell Center. Carlson. Play at the net by Kostelecki, her fifth kill. Yeah, Kostelecki getting up on the block on that one. McGee getting denied. You won't see McCardle do that too often. Tied at one. Bickelmeyer back in for Rice. Like to see that. Nine kills on the night for Bickelmeyer. The freshman DeCosta for Baylor gonna put it in play. That is what we call the coffin corner. Nobody is gonna get that one right there. How much do you practice that? Whew. You, you practice it a lot try and get those corners because nobody's going to get them. Harrison coming down hard on McCardle and the Owls. Harrison with their 14th kill of the evening, leading everybody, just reaching away from her body angle down for the point. If Baylor's going to make a run in this tournament deep, players like Harrison the transfer from North Carolina are going to play huge roles, and she's doing it tonight. Wow, speaking of doing it, a deck and lay floats through the air and finds the space. A deck and lay, she's, she's uh, number two in the kill category tonight for both teams. She might be number one now. 16 on the night. That's really impressive to have a middle blocker having the kill lead for the match. You don't really see that very often. Graham sets again, and Cordley with a stick of dynamite into the corner that DaCosta can't handle. Yeah, Corley was coming in hard on that one. She was just banging high hard off the hands and she did a good job right there. So Rice up five to two in a set they have to have. Carlson, a pirouette. DaCosta diving for it. That's a great heads up play by uh, Carly Graham right there setting. Didn't have much to do. She's at the net front row. Front row setter attack. You got defense got to watch what that setter's doing. Caught Baylor off guard right there. 40 assists for Carly Graham. There's the center Baylor's going to need, but Harrison needed a little less on that. Rice out to a quick start in this third set. 
Just what they need for sure. So we'll step aside. Rice, seven to two. Plenty of play left. And back at the Farrell Center, Rice has been steamrolling its way through the fourth set. And it continues. DaCosta couldn't get there. Nada Kunle just add, adding to her total, her high total there. Sure, Ada Kunle, one more, uh, one more kill. She's, she's adding for sure. Carlson for Harrison. Harrison cranks again, pulls back and lofts it over the net. Dig is made by Rice, Mariska over the net. Carlson sets for Talbert, heads up play. Rice defends. Talbert, too much. Talbert in the middle right here, cut, doing a little cutback. Harris right there, almost getting that ball up. Point goes to Baylor. Nice up in the back row there. Great defensive play for, for Baylor. That's what I like to see in a defensive player right here. She's just watching the setter. That's exactly what she's supposed to do. Gets that ball up. Harrison finishing that point. We've got a whistle and we've got another Baylor point. The run continues. Four straight for Baylor. It's so funny to see these kids on the sideline. And they stay positive. Oh, yeah. Portly to the applause of the Rice faithful here at the Farrell Center. Corley says, enough of that uh, run right there. I'm going to stop it right here. Nice high off the block, block into the deep corner. Carlson <laughs> dropped over the net by Harrison. Too long for Courtley. Ah, she got a little touch there on that block, though. Point's going to go to Rice. 10 to 5, Rice, after the point goes to the Owls. Graham sets again. Costalecki is denied by Harrison. The dig by DaCosta. Harrison with the lightning bolt. A Deccan leg can't handle it. Yeah, Harrison, yeah, Harrison hitting this uh, deep in the corner that the Doc leg just couldn't get her hands fast enough up. Nice, nice play by Harrison on the outside. What an amazing game. The reaction time has to just be impeccable. We're seeing the best of the best tonight in college volleyball. Courtney, too long. How about the freshman Avery Carlson there with the no look? No look, but it was up. Bryce playing some defense back there. Nice soft block right there. Carlson sets. McGee tried to finish. Courtney at the net finds a way to get it over. And here comes McGee. <laughs> Nice long rally, and you always want to win those for sure. McGee stretching, getting that hard angle down for the point. Graham showing those quick feet off. 
Halbert showing the mocks. He drops it over the net, but Rice responds. <laughs> what a great play right there by Carly Graham. Throwing that. It's almost like a slam dunk. I wish you could see uh, Adam Johnson right here. Here we go. Look at this. She just sees that opening. Boom. She gets all of her wrist over the net. You are gushing. Puts that you, thing down. You love it. I do. Just the, the, the fingers there. Graham has been phenomenal. 43 assists. Ooh. That's too bad right there. Twelve to eight runs. I think that's only uh, Carlson's second error. It's not too shabby. <laughs> that was Talbert. Courtley on the outside, putting that ball down, getting over on Talbert right here. This is their go-to. And, and Courtley just says, no, thank you. You're not getting by me today. 6-3 on 6-1. 6-1-1 one there. Courtley again. Rice got a little momentum going right now, and it looks like uh, looks like the Bears are going to try and uh, stop that from going any further. Oh, mm. almost. The Rice lead is seven. Drops the hammer. Cardinal digs. Yeah, I was going to say, she drops the hammer, <laughs> but look what came up. Just a hammer time. <laughs> that's why, I, I mean, the defense, that, that can take, you know, you go up and you, you hit your hardest ball, and that thing just pops up like, uh, what else you got? You know, and that's. That can be demoralizing too. You're like, gosh, what do I have to do to put this ball down? And more often than not, does your team find itself out of position? Uh, sometimes because they believe that that ball is going to go down. Sub Substitution for Baylor, Alicia Andrew. come out right here. Here we go. I think we have to upgrade our camera angles. Might have to. Carlson sets. Baylor gets a point. Much needed point. Stops the bleeding. Yeah, I was going to say Baylor not phased by that. Coming right back. McGee on the outside hitting that ball over the block and down for a point. Baylor's got a little bit of hill to climb right here. Faith Lynch into the ball game. Sophomore from Magnolia, Texas puts us in play. Picklemeyer ends that play. Okay, we heard her name again. Said it at the beginning of this set. Beginning of the second set. Now she's hitting right out of that middle. It seems a nice cutback shot too. She's been bookending her production. She has been on a roll, 14th kill. Go off speed. And you can hear Carly Graham from here. Telling her teammate, great block, great block. Yeah, Baylor just doesn't seem to uh, be real excited right now in this set. 
They need to kind of regain some momentum. If they're going to lose this game, they got to regain some momentum, carry them into the fifth. Valley check, checking in. Carlson is long on that, and McCardle says, let's go. Nia McCardle, 5'7", junior from Missouri City. Dad played football in the NFL for more than a decade, won a title with the box. And Baylor gets their first point in the while. McGee out of the middle trying to uh, get her teammates all fired up here. Well, you said it, Adam. They need to get some kind of momentum, something going so they can feel good about themselves going to this last set. That's going to make it hard. <laughs> There's no momentum there. Seventeenth kill for a deck and leg. And she does not want to go home. Fifth year senior set to play volleyball for USA in the spring, but boy, hitting 441. <laughs> she didn't want to nice. think about that offseason right now, hitting 441 in this game. Carlson slides to the dig. Check. Storms to the point. Sent that one screaming over the net. Check right here on the uh, right side. Big lefty putting that ball down right on the line for a point. She got a little excited after that, trying to get her, get her teammates up and going. Carlson, check with the heavy hand again. Two for two, check, check. <laughs> yeah, if you can kind of score three points to their one, you're not doing so bad. Ali check breathing life into this Baylor effort in the fourth set. And rally kill. Yeah, those missed serves can really come at the wrong time. That one stings for Brasinho. Courtly checking in the front row for Rice on the outside. Rice gets the point. Check that. Yes, they will give Rice the point. Maruska trying to send this one to a final fifth set. Carlson sets for Harrison. Coming in a little early on that one. Woo! Just in time right there. A decolle again. This is kind of the fun. Free ball coming over right here for Rise. The decolle with the really short approach, but boy, able to get up with those hops, put it down for a point. Harrison trying to fight off that fifth set. Brasenio with the dig. Carlson with the set. Harrison. Ricardo digs that one out. Baylor stays alive. This is a pretty. Be this would be a great comeback. Uh, the only one that I've ever had was my little 14s team in the in, in the open division, and we were down 10-24. And I told them we can come back, and they started laughing at me. We came back and beat them 26-24. Not going to happen this time. Not going to happen this time. A Deconley puts the nail in the fourth set coffin. So here we go. One set for it all for the ticket to the Sweet 16. Rice is dancing into the final set. We'll figure it out when we get back.
And we're running from the Farrell Center in the fifth set. Pastelecki meets McGee at the net, and the senior says, I'm not going home. Not a bad way to start right off the bat, controlling the net. Kara McGee putting that ball down for a point. It's always good to get off to a quick start. Carlson, pinpoint serve, Mansfield with the dig. And the other McGee, this time it's Elise. Elise McGee here, high ball outside, she's waiting and just has a nice smooth turn down the line for a point. Kostelecki and Bickelmeyer there. McGee finds a way. Graham, her coach calls her one of the best setters in the country. Sets it for Maruska, who's denied. Uh, check right there, what a great block. Perfect angle we have right here. She's turning her hand right in, look at that. That is textbook right there. Time out on the floor, we'll keep it right here. Just want to keep it going if you're Baylor. If you're Rice, what, what do you want to do out of this huddle? Well, you definitely have to slow it down, that's for sure. And, and you got to say, hey, they got their three points. Let's get one and get right back into it. It starts with a pass. That's all you can really say. But they got to keep, they, they've got to keep their momentum from the last, from the previous game and get that back. Get that, get that loving, winning feeling back. <laughs> they've lost that loving feeling momentarily. <laughs> momentarily. And it can happen real fast. Coach Volpe in her 19th season. The girls from Rice hit Magnolia on Wednesday afternoon. But the fun is over with, right? Until this game is over, you hope. Then you're having fun. My wife loves that place. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> She wanted to move up here as soon as that came out. We're moving. We're, we're moving to Waco. They're going to redo our house. It is <laughs> quite the experience. I can only imagine. It's pretty cool. Yeah, Coach Volpe was there. Her team left her because she had to talk to us on the on the conference call. She said, "It's everyone for himself." <laughs> right now, though, her team is certainly together. And they are facing a tough test now, down three to nothing in this final set. Uh-oh, back row attack. Graham knew it the moment she rose. And Baylor now up four to nothing. Freshman Carlson has triggered this four-point flurry to start the set. Quick hands by McGee, not quick enough. Maruska putting the tourniquet on, stopping the bleeding. Puts a nice shot down for a point. Carlson sets for the elder statesman McGee. Dig is made. Harrison for Carlson for McGee. Baylor gets the point. It is five to one. Nice little quick set. Karen McGee just getting a little bit of lift on that ball. Looked like uh, Bicklemeyer got, got a hand, but not quite as much as she needed, that's for sure. not going your way. Yeah, I mean, that was an amazing back step, one hand right there from Graham. How that didn't go down, I have no idea, because I, as a blocker, wouldn't think that she could even set that ball, but Baylor right there. Kara McGee right there. And now it's 6-1 to one Baylor. All night long, we've seen that set and finish from Graham and Adekunle, not there. Maybe here. And there's just a basic two set, what we call in the middle, just straight up and down. It's amazing what some athletes these days can do with that thing. Six to two. 
Graham giving a deck and lay. Some last second instructions to fifth year seniors. Oh, a great dig in the back row. Ricardo is there. Harrison blows away Mansfield, but she sets the dig. And here's Carlson. Alley check, lowers the left hand, and boom, Baylor up five. Hey, if you're going to save it for the last game, now's not a bad time. Check here on the right side. Big lefty coming in, full angle detonation. Nice play for Senior picking that one up. Harrison, acrobatic. I got it. <laughs> I was ready. Darn it, I had that. Point Rice. I'm getting slow in my age. <laughs> for Senior playing some solid defense back there for Baylor right now. Fifth set, if you're just joining us, Pete Souza alongside the Hall of Famer Adam Johnson from the Farrell Center. Baylor up early in the fifth set. Seven to three, make it eight to three. Oh, 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 oh. Say, now that's the way you tip the ball right there. You come in, like check on the right side, like you're gonna crush this ball, and then you just put a little tip right over the block and down for a point. Beautiful play by Check. You just saw her rise and cock the hammer and then just kind of reassess and touch it over the net. Saw an open space, put it there, point to Baylor. So Baylor up five in the fifth set. Allie Check talking it over with teammate Sophia Keen. Check will have a seat on the bench and Keen checks in. That never gets old. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe. Check, check. Yeah. We saw Keen come off the bench for an ace earlier tonight. See if she can do it again. Oh, almost. Persenia with the dig. Harrison with the no doubter. Oh, look at that. Joy coming from the senior. Yeah, the crowd going wild on this, too. Great dig in the back row over Persenia. This is what's great about this play is that they finish it with another great play. Two great plays in one, and Rice is going to call timeout. Baylor up six. Still some work to do in this fifth set. It's not over until it's over. And Coach McGuire seems to understand that as well. Baylor looking for an invitation to the regionals. Take a look on your screen. Match summary. Deckham like 20 kills, but Harrison has been on fire. 17 kills himself. Yeah, it's kind of interesting to see the uh, the two losses by Baylor. They kind of got they've been dominated in those games, but uh, in the ones that they have won, they've been a little bit closer. 32 ties, 10 lead changes. And there is Lauren Harrison. Missed some time in early September. Came back like she hadn't missed a beat. Service again will come from Keene. That is tough to defend as we've seen it all night long. 21st kill of the night for a deck and leg. Off of the assist, 53rd from Grant. Carlson. Oh. Wow. That ball just exploded off of the senior's right hand. Yes, it did right there. 
Harrison on the outside right here. She's coming in like a locomotive right there. Boom. Right down the line through the block for a point. Point Rice as they continue to fight. Pesky crowd getting involved. Graham sets. Picklemeyer finishes. I touched it. <laughs> I touched the Picklemeyer Picklemeyer ball. Nice turn down the line by by Picklemeyer right there. I love how you're just dying to get back in on the action. Yeah. It's been, I guess it's been tough for you to find a pickup game. <laughs> McGee! Nice. The sophomore. McGee stepping it up here on the outside. Finds a little spot, little daylight right there just past the block. Costalecki. And you saw McCardle there dive for it. She has been effective tonight. 16 digs so far, could not come up with 17. All Big 12 player. Talbert will serve. Grant loads it up for Picklemeyer, who softly finds a space over the net. Off your screen, we're taking care of a wet spot on the floor. <laughs> Lauren Harrison giving the arena employee some help. See, we used to be able to do that on our own. It used to take a little more time than, you know, necessary sometimes. <laughs> Graham finds a way to get it over the net, and Brasigno digs it out. And the elder McGee, it is Kara, putting Baylor within three points of the Sweet 16. Yeah, Kara McGee right here, reaching high. Trying to reach as high as she can, just tipping this ball over and down in the middle of the Rice defense. Are we going to have a, looks like he's. Looks like we might get a challenge. I think we might get a challenge, yeah. We're going to get to see if this pancake had a little syrup on it or not. <laughs> Another look. Oh, that's. Uh, I'm going to say that's. It's a tough call. It's a tough call, but boy. Oh, yeah, that's definitely floor. That angle right there. Yeah. Great job by our Baylor Vision crew. I think Rice kind of knew it. They've, they've got a, 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 a got a challenge up. They got a challenge to you. burn. Might as well, might as well use it. I think that second, uh, that second angle, I think, is the one that they're going to be looking at. And they are looking 12 to seven, Baylor, with the five-point edge. And we will soon get word. Baylor is awarded the point. It is confirmed. Call will stand. Avery Carlson will serve. And Coach McGee and Coach Volpe know that the time is now. Mansfield, nice dig. Picklemeyer keeps Rice afloat. Picklemeyer down the line. That's where she got a lot of her uh, kills in the first set from on the right side. Yeah. 
Graham pulls the trigger. Uh -oh. Miscommunication for Rice. That's a big break right there for uh, Baylor. He got out of that one. Couldn't have come at a worse time for the Owls. Picklemeyer tries to get order restored and does. It's a nice smooth swing on the right side. You know, it wasn't a great set. Just has to make sure that she keeps that ball in play. And sometimes you get lucky, hit the block, and it goes down at a weird angle. Certainly a little bit of wonky, or a little wonky, before Picklemeyer was able to deposit that. Yeah, big point here for Baylor. Ooh. Rice staying alive. This is, this is when the uh, shirt or that has the tie on starts to get a little <laughs> tighter. They get this one side out, though. Carlson sets, and Kara McGee drops the hammer. Yeah, great pass here. McGee out of the middle, just beaten over the top, over the top of Dick Deckney. 54th assist and 28th kill. 54 assists for Carlson, 28 for McGee. Match point. Oh, you don't want to tip on match point. Or do you? Check. Turned away at the net. You will not see that every day. But if you do, it's going to be a player like a Deckenlay on the other end. Well, at least she's going up swinging, that's for sure. And that's a great block by Rice right there. But i uh, like to see the uh, enthusiasm on uh, Baylor's side. Crowd on its feet. Folks at the Farrell Center can taste it. Carlson for Harrison and Baylor punches its ticket to the Sweet 16. And how fitting that Harrison delivers the knockout run. Like she's been doing all night. And for Rice and the fifth year senior, Carly Graham, nothing to be ashamed of. No, nothing at all. It's a hard fought battle right there. These are the tough ones though. You go five and you lose. Oh, trust me, I know. <laughs> In the finals, being being up, I served, I served match point at 14-11 uh, and never saw the front row again. We lost 16-14. Throw of victory and the agony of defeat. Absolutely, absolutely. Here's match point right here. You know where the set's going. It's going outside right in between Harrison just putting this ball down. Putting the exclamation point on this match. Again, nothing to be ashamed of and you see the smiles from the sisters, the McGee sisters. For our Barrel of Vision crew and of course for the Hall of Famer Adam Johnson, Pete Souza from the Farrell Center. Good night.